Hey, uh, my name's Declan. Me and my wife, Britt, have been coming to C3 uh, home for about three years now. Um, we, we grew up, well, Britt grew up in a church, a local church around here since she was born. Um, and I, uh, I started going to the youth group there in, uh, in year five. So I don't know how old that makes me, do the math. Um, but yeah, so we, we found Christ, well, I found Christ there um, and was there for a long time. Yeah, we felt a bit of a call away from that church, which was hard because um, that was our home. That was our home church. We were, um, we were there for a long time. We'd made a lot of good friendships. Um, we'd invested a lot there, but yeah, we, we journeyed through that. We, we kind of wrestled through that um, with God um, and then got, got to a place where we were like, okay, cool. We really feel like, like our time here is done. Yeah, like I said, was was hard. We decided uh, try try a few different churches out around the area just to see kind of where God had was leading us, where God wanted us to be. We we felt called away. We didn't necessarily know where we were gonna um, end up, which was stressful. <laughs> um, but yeah, kind of wandered into C3 home back in the uh, Endeavor days, and it just felt like home from the moment we stepped in. It was it was refreshing. It was friendly. It was community focused. And I think, uh, I think a big part of that for us was, um, yeah, the feeling that it was home. It was like the pu last puzzle piece fitting together. Like we'd, we'd felt this call away from our other church. Um, we'd really felt like it was a God thing. Back, got to backtrack a little bit to know my story. I didn't grow up in a Christian home necessarily, um, but I grew, up in, I grew up in the best home. Like my parents are my heroes. And um, my dad had a pretty rough start to his life when he was a bit younger. Um, and my mum, you know, had her stuff going on too. But for, for me, seeing their modelling of marriage, um, seeing their modelling of what it's like to be a family, what it means, what the values are of a family, that to me is, is everything. Um, but in saying that, it wasn't, I didn't grow up in a Christian home. So my, um, me and my best mate, we started in kindergarten together. We finished year 12 together. We were in uh, year two together. And um, our teacher was, a pastor and her husband were pastors of um, a local church and they had ended up inviting my best mate's mum to a service. So he started going to church, he was going to kids church back then and then I was in year five, we started going to youth group and we, we went to youth, I think I went to youth group every week probably from year five till I stopped almost, I, I've rarely missed a few. But yeah, went to, went to youth group in year five, kind of did the classic like you know, I'm, I'm new to this place, my hand's going up in salvation prayer, which meant something. I just didn't know the weight of it, I don't think. So I kept going to youth and then in year nine, um, I remember it was, a, it was a Good Friday service. We did a Good Friday service at a youth night and uh, I made a decision for Christ that night just to solidify all the stuff that I was already living, but it was kind of just like this realization moment for me where I was like, oh, okay, cool. This is actually, this is actually what I want. This is actually how I want to live. Yeah, I think for me, um, the biggest thing was that I didn't know what it was like to have um, a personal, real relationship with Christ, um, simply because um, I didn't grow up in a household where that was the normal. Um, nothing wrong with that necessarily, but that just wasn't my experience. And so from a young age, I, I, had, to, I had to walk that for myself. I had to invest in that. So I remember I started journaling early, like year seven, every single night I was journaling. And I think I started by just journaling my prayers every night. Um, and then that kind of, kind of, you know, moved on to reading my Bible more, um, to, to learning how to pray a little bit more, like all, all that stuff where it was kind of just for me, um, experimenting, figuring out how I find my rhythms and how that worked for me. Um, and, then, and then was really big on knowing what my calling was for each season. Because I think God gives us callings overall, but he also gives us um, calling seasonally, like they, they can change. Um, and so I was just, I just tried to be as obedient as I could um, in, my, in my callings for each season. So I remember like I felt called to youth ministry. Man, I ran hard at youth ministry. It was knowing what my calling was seasonally um, and, then, and then wrestling through that. So, so when, um, when we felt the call away from youth ministry, that was a, that was a big one, um, figuring out something that was my life for so long, something that I invested into every single Friday night, for God to kind of say, look, I think, you know, your time's coming up here. Um, but it, that, was, that was a seasonal calling. And so it was, it was wrestling through that. 
and then that was moving into more of like a Sunday focused um, creative role um, at our last church where I was just, you know, I just drummed or sang week in and week out. And that was my, that was my season, seasonal calling. Yeah, I think God's always, God always grows with us. And so I can look back on, you know, the last 15, 16 years of being a Christ follower in whatever that looked like from, you know, being a young punk kid to being a bit older. It's easy to look back and just, just be here, but there was always the growth that happened throughout in that season. C committing to being a Christ follower is, is not easy. Like it's not meant to be easy. It's actually quite difficult, especially because of the world that we live in. But I'm like, I'm a type one. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna commit to something and I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit to something. And I did that with Christ, I, I committed. And I was just there. Through hard seasons, I was there. Through easy seasons, I was there. You know, I, I drifted a little bit here and there and you know, had my times of, of the world, but coming back, it's so refreshing. And, and, but as I you know, commit to Christ, as I, as I learn His Word, as, as my faith in Him grows, which is the most important thing, like, you know, I, I never want to forsake the fact that like, I always need to make sure that Christ is the most important thing in my life. Not church. Church is good. Church is important. The most important thing is my personal walk with Christ. And as I grow in that, Christ is growing with me. You need to go throughout the journey of being a Christ follower, which isn't easy, but holy moly, it's worth it because He is so good to us. He is, he is the best. He's the best thing that I ever did with my life was, was give it to Christ. And then not just give it to him, but trust him with it and allow him to lead me. And it's so refreshing.